What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today we're going to be wrapping up week nine of the 2015 NFL season, Monday Night Football, Chicago Bears at San Diego Chargers. Uh, first off, I want to go ahead and let everybody know that um, I've been telling you guys for weeks that San Diego has been a complete letdown. Uh, they continue to do it yesterday. Obviously, Phillip Rivers has been doing it by himself for the most part with the passing game. Melvin Gordon has turned out to be a complete bum thus far. Um, you know, the, the major thing that stood out, what was that? Jason Barrett had a pick six. Uh, Phillip Rivers has way too much energy on the sideline after the pick six. I could see that he's like a rabbit. That's why he has so many kids. The dude just can't stop having sex. Um, but Jay Cutler, man, listen, he made it. He, he, he played. He played well. He played very, very well. You know, Zach Miller, that one-handed catch when he's trying to beat OBJ, um, that, that was very impressive, man. That was very, very impressive. They came up with a big win, but um, all in all, Jeremy Langford, bro, like this dude, this dude, Jeremy Langford, dog, like he, if you if you had a fantasy team and you picked him up last week, you, you, you know, you, you did pretty well for yourself. Um, overall, just looking at the way that both these teams are going, uh, I don't know how... The San Diego Chargers are going to recover from this um, as far as going forward. We obviously know they're not making the playoffs. I, that's pretty much out of it. I don't think they have a shot um, to do anything like that. Um, Malcolm Floyd may be retiring. We've already heard that before he got injured with the shoulder injury, uh, you know, that he was supposed to be going to relax with his kids and stuff like that. You know, he's been in the league a very long time. He's like a thousand years old. He, he had some really good years, man. Him and uh, also Gates who was suspended for the first four games of the season for taking steroids out rate well, performance enhancing drugs. Look, bro, it's a tough game. And guys get old and they just feel like they need to do what's right. You know what I'm saying, bro? They got to get a little pep in their step. But overall, you got to give Jay Cutler credit. This is the most animated I've seen Jay Cutler ever. He was very, very animated after that touchdown. He's very, very excited to win. Um, I still think he needs to go. I don't think he's the guy for the team. Um, Alshon Jeffrey is a real deal, big time receiver, in my opinion. Um, if he had a little bit of help with Kevin White, um, the Bears would probably be in a lot better situation in three and five right now. Uh, but San Diego's just been a complete letdown. They, they started off hot. Phillip Rivers has been doing this thing for the most part, but you know, I don't, you know, Manti Teo being out, he probably saw like three girlfriends that are not his. A lot of things is going on with that team that is not um, going to bring success. And, uh, you know, congratulations to Cutler. He passed the Hall of Famer, Sid Luckman. You know, Jay Cutler is definitely not a Hall of Famer, but he, he he's played well, man. And um, for the most part, you know, I, since he's come back from injury, he's been pretty good. I, I can't say anything. Like, I got to give him credit. I know that he's going to throw pick sixes. You know, I know he's going to throw pick sixes. Everybody knows Jay Cutler going to throw a pick six. It's going to happen. Jay Cutler does that. That's part of his game. That's how you know that he's really Jay Cutler when he throws a pick six. But that doesn't take away from the fact that he's been playing decent enough for this this team to win Matt Forte is out who accounts for 33 percent of their offense and he's been coming up big and making plays um you know like like how he did yesterday getting the ball to Jeremy Langford um you know they all could they, they did what they had to do Jeremy Langford uh Alshon Jeffrey they did what they had to do on the bear side to get wins I don't like John Fox as the head coach at any on any team I just think that he's you know he hasn't been the same since they lost that Super Bowl uh, to the Patriots when they really stopped him on inches and the refs was like, nah, he got the, he gained the inch. It hasn't been the same, but it is what it is. Um, I just really hope though that the Bears are able to give something to these Chicago fans, man, because you know, it's really, really tough out there running around with Jay Cutler. You know, you paid him like he's the man and he's garbage. Well, he's not garbage right now, but he's not worth the money that he got. The GM and whoever's responsible for giving that money should be fired immediately. Um, and then, you know, put on a, a dessert island like Tom Hanks in that movie when he was on the boat. W whatever, man. Like, this, this dude, look, look, like Castaway, like, this, I don't know. They just, they misappropriate funds on a regular basis. And I just don't understand what they're doing with it. Uh, but that the, the, the biggest story is the Zach Miller catch. The Zach Miller catch was out of control. It was, it was probably the most exciting part of the game for me and the game winner. So it was definitely... Um, something that is de is deserving to be spoken about. Um, but all in all, you got to be happy for Jay Cutler, man, to finally come out and be able to pull out a win because they've been losing a lot of games in the fourth quarter. As far as San Diego goes, they suck. And I'm going to just say it like that because I don't want to beat around the bush and make people think that um, there's hope for this team this year. They suck. Um, Phillip Rivers, like I said, he's played well. Uh, they have no running game. You get some things from the defense sometimes, and sometimes they don't show up. I don't know what to say about them. Maybe it's the coach. Is it the coach? Is it McCoy? I, I don't know what it is. I, I, 
he he looked stupid when you know the the, the, the lineman was running down trying to block for Jay uh, trying to block for Philip Rivers when Philip Rivers is not a runner. So why is that lineman out there trying to block? You know, it's just a lot of craziness that goes on, um, and people make decisions that come back to haunt them during the games, and that was one of the major factors that contributed to that loss. So um, all in all, I'm gonna have to go ahead and say the San Diego Chargers suck. I know the fans are gonna, you know, come at me. You know, as long as you guys keep it professional, you know, we can have some fun with it. But you know, what are they really doing though? You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, what what are they really doing right now at this point? Nothing. You you have to understand that it's it's nothing really going on at this point. So we have to be logical and understand that there is no hope for this year. Maybe they get a high draft pick, and they, and we move on from there. But as far as Week Nine go, goes goes, the most exciting thing for me for Week Nine had to be Peyton Manning letting us down again, just so you guys have a highlight of it. Like, this guy is just not the guy when it comes down to being clutch. He's just not the guy. He's not the guy, okay? He's a great regular season quarterback. That is all. Uh, this is going to be wrapping up week nine. Definitely look out for more podcasts that are coming soon. Uh, I'm going to be starting to release a little bit more things about different issues coming soon. If you guys don't know, I'm available worldwide on iTunes, G Myers World Podcast. If you're on the Android, just download the podcast source app and search G Myers World Podcast. You get all the podcasts for free. You can listen to it, whatever you're doing, bro. While you, whatever you whatever you do, you can also you always um, can have fun listening to my podcast. It, it can be motivational. It can get you loose for whatever you're doing if you're playing sports. Um, I've had some people tell me that you know they listen to it on their way you know their way to work and and from you know and going home from work. It's just a lot of things that are there. Over 300 available uh, on iTunes, um, and uh, it's going to be continuing to grow. Uh, also, you can listen to a lot more on YouTube because for some reason iTunes only holds a specific amount of my podcast, and then you start to like, uh, you know, I guess they they, they kind of archive them or whatever. But they're they're always going to be available in other avenues. Right now, uh, YouTube. Just go to YouTube and search the podcast, and it's like a lot more than those 300. But um. Other than that, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the picks for week 10. So let me go ahead and check these schedules real quick. We're going to go ahead and go to regular season. We're going to go to week 10, which is going to be starting off with the Bills and the Jets. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and um, let me see. Offense, defense. Let me see. Let me, let me go ahead. What's going on with this? Uh, Bills. Uh, you know, I don't really like the Jets. I don't really like the Jets anymore. I think the Jets suck. I'm going to go ahead and take the Bills. For no other reason than I think the Jets suck and they always let people down. Um, Lions and Packers, okay, yeah, okay, bro. Uh, do I really need to say Packers? Like the line, Jim Caldwell, bro. Like soccer coach, like bro, he's a soccer dad, bro. Um, cop, if the cop, bro, the Buccaneers, that that should be the Cowboys win. That that should be a Cowboys win. If Matt Castle can't beat the Bucks, man, they got to get rid of Matt Castle. If the Cowboys can't beat the Buccaneers, they got to get rid of Matt Castle. Panthers at Titans, Mariota's played well, but not against his defense. The Panthers should handle their business there. Bears at Rams. Hmm. The Rams should win. I don't like Jeff Fisher as the head coach of anything. Um, the Rams should win that game, though. I know the Bears are running, riding high after Monday night win. I, I just don't see it. But weirder things have happened to Jeff Fisher. But I'm gonna go ahead and take the Rams. Saints at Redskins. I gotta go. I gotta go. With the, uh, I gotta take the Saints, man. I think RG3 is still a free safety over there. It's like crazy shit going over there. I, I'm going to have to go with the Saints. Dolphins at the Eagles. This can go either way. I don't really trust Chip Kelly. I know they beat the Cowboys, but who doesn't beat the Cowboys? Um, mm, uh, I'm going to go ahead with an upset. I'm going to take the Dolphins. Uh, Browns at Steelers. I'm going to go with the Steelers. Uh, Johnny Manziel needs to go sit down for the rest of the year or something. Jaguars at Ravens. I got to believe the Ravens can do something, no? You know, I know they're dead in the water, but they, you got to believe they can do something. Vikings at Raiders. I'm going to go with the Vikings, even though Teddy, Teddy Bridgewater passed his first uh, protocol for concussion. Let's let's hope that he can make it through that. Patriots at Giants. Okay, I'm going to have to go with the Patriots on that. I'm not even going to talk about the game. I, I'm not going to play that thing. JPP looks like a damn lobster with his hand, and he just he looks like Gary the Lobster from SpongeBob. Like He's just a joke. Um, Chiefs at Broncos. I got to take the Broncos in my high. Um, Cardinals at Seahawks. I'm going to go ahead and take... The Cardinals. I'm gonna take the Cardinals. You know, I'm gonna take the Cardinals because I don't, I don't know what Russell Wilson's doing, and I think he's too in love with Ciara and he's playing like shit. All right, Texans at the Bengals. Bengals. Do I need to say anything else about it? I don't think so. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this podcast recap. Check out more at G Myers World. Follow me on Twitter for you know things that I'm feeling at the time. Like me on Facebook, um, and uh, leave a comment if you want to start a conversation. Keep it professional. Until next time.
one love.